All right, how I play Dance Gavin Dance, uh, Death of a Strawberry. Cool. Uh, so, uh, chord shape number one, E major seven. Okay, so pinky is going to be on the seventh fret of the A string, right? Uh, ring finger on the sixth fret of the uh, D string, right? Uh, then you have your index finger barring the fourth fret of the G string and the B string. Okay, so you've got uh, okay, and yeah, you may end up ringing out the bottom or the high E strings, right? And it may sound something like this. But guess what? That sounds fine. So if you're not very good at muting strings or if you don't want to mute the strings, um, you know, you, you, you don't have to because it'll it'll be fine in that scenario. Um, however, yeah, um, you can mute the bottom E string with your index finger just by pushing it up there. See? No, no, no ringing. And you can... Um, also use this area of your pinky to mute the high E string. So now I didn't really do it too much when I played the cover, but you know, you, you can, you, you can, you can, if you want. Anyway, um, so yeah, so now let's talk about the right hand for that chord, right? So you're gonna uh, make that E major seven shape, and you're gonna go bum, 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 okay? Oh God, see, I'm not even muting. Okay, and then that's when you prepare to do the next chord, um, and that's just gonna be open A string, and the ninth fret, using your pinky probably, on the D string. Okay, so you're playing that open A, and you're playing this B on the ninth fret of the D string. All right, cool. So you're going to, and you're only playing that once, and you're going to do it in kind of like a staccato. So as soon as you play it, just stop. Like, like that. So we have... Oh, God. Right? That's it. And now we're going to move on to the next chord. Let me stop it here so I can gather myself... Okay, the next section after this chord here, uh, you're going to play this C minor implied uh, chord, um, but it's got nothing but suspensions in it. Um, you know, so you're going to play the, you're going to kind of bar the ninth fret of the low E string with your index finger, and everything else is going to get muted here. So it's going to just be this. And you're going to kind of raise your finger up to make sure that it's kind of just muting everything else. See, you don't really hear anything else except for the bottom string. So, right. And you're going to take your middle finger and it's going to go on the 11th fret of the G string. And your pinky is going to go on the 13th fret of the D string. Okay, so those are the only three notes that are going to get played for that. So you got one, two, three, okay? And everything else is getting muted by your index finger. Okay? And then let's talk about the right hand one more time. Okay, so... Right, so that pattern is... Right, and then you're gonna get ready for the next chord. But yeah, one more time. Okay, and then you're gonna do another staccato uh, hit for the next uh, note, which is just an octave um, a G sharp. All right, now I play this with my index finger on the 11th fret of the A string, and my pinky is on the 13th fret of the G string. All right, so it's just an octave G sharp, okay? And you're just gonna do another just quick hit staccato on that. And uh, so you got uh, from the beginning here, one, two, three, four. Right, and then you're back to there. 
you see? So the second time, once you're back down here, um, you're not going to play the same exact rhythm because it's a little different now. But uh, let me see here. Boo, bink. Right. So you, you have like a, you know, um, so you've got this uh, E major 7 again, and it just comes in uh, before the uh, downbeat again. And let's see here. So... Dunk. Right, so right. I'm gonna try to count while I do this whole thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. I hope that made sense, Jesus. Uh, um, and crazy enough, this is still easier than making tabs. So whatever, I'm going to keep going. Um, let me see here. And I believe that's it. Oh, the rhythm, I guess, for the last uh, thing here. So... Um, So you've got that for that C super suspension. I don't know what you would call that if it's just a, a C implied minor chord, but it's got no three and no five. This isn't a theory lesson. We're moving. We're moving on. Um. Uh. Yeah. So on that C sharp. Uh, honestly, you you can play it a little loose. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly how I played it. Um. You know. So keep that in mind. Uh, but those are the chords for the beginning part. Uh, let me stop it again, collect my thoughts. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, the next part. Uh, I've made some mistakes, not so good with planning. That part. Okay, so we're gonna take our index finger and uh, put that on the seventh fret of the D string. Right? Uh, ring finger on the ninth fret of the G string. Pinky on the ninth fret of the B string. All right, so you've got this A major seven here. Yeah, good stuff. All right, so um, you're gonna play this just eighth note. So you're just gonna go and the only thing that's gonna move is the bottom note here. Okay, so the pinky and the ring finger will not move at all for this section. So um you're going to play uh right this is the order of the notes that you'll be moving in the bottom note so you're going to start on the seventh fret of the uh, d string with your index finger and then you're going to go to the ninth fret of the a string with your uh middle finger and then you're going to come back up with your index finger to the sixth fret to of, of the D string and then you're gonna play the ninth fret of the uh, D string with your middle finger okay so if we take away everything and just kind of use uh, these these two fingers right here right it's just gonna go like this right so it's gonna be right seventh fret on the D string right and then ninth fret on the A string sixth fret on the D string ninth fret on the D string Right? So then you put that together with the two fingers holding the ninth fret on the G and B string, right? So you've got these still going. Right? So that's going to be like this. One, two, three, four. Right? Um, okay, so let's, uh, let me go through that one more time. All right? I'm just going to kind of sing it a little bit. One, two, three. I've made some mistakes, not so good with planning, but I've got some skills in easy living. Now, you have to get to that from this, right? Because you're ending it from that whole uh, other riff. Right? 
And that is, that's that whole section right there. That's that whole pre-chorus uh, situation. And now on to the chorus. Okay, the chorus of Death of the Strawberry. Um, we are going to go up here to the A major 7 chord. Okay, so we're going to play the open A string. Right? Um, middle finger on the second fret of the D string. Uh, index finger on the first fret of the G string. And then the ring finger on the uh, second fret of the B string. Right? And then the open E string. Okay? So you got... Oh, let me, let me move over. So you got... Right? That open A. You don't really have to play the open E, but, you know, you can if you want. It's still, you know, uh, it's still part of the chord color, you know? All right, so then you're gonna just play that four times, right? Now I play a harmonic up here on the twelfth fret of the uh, B and the high E string, but you don't have to. I just did that because in the song there's a snare hit there, and I kind of wanted something to to kind of give me something snappy that kind of had that vibe. But you know, you don't have to do that. Um, but yeah, so you've got that, and then after that. You're gonna play an open G, uh, blow G, whoa, uh, an open E major uh, chord. So you know, open E, uh, second fret on the A string with your middle finger, and then uh, second fret on the D string with your ring finger, and then the first fret of the G string with your uh, first uh, index finger, right? And then just open on the last two. All right. Cool. So that's going to be, or I guess if you wanted to play it like this, whatever, you know, it's an open E chord. All right. Leave me alone. Um, okay. So yeah, so you're going to play that with the same pattern, all right? It's four times for both before I get into all that, before I get into that stuff. So just for the first part, it's going to go one, two, three. So that's that. Now we're going to move on to the second part of the chorus where I try to be ridiculous and play, you know, ridiculous stuff. All right. Okay. So uh, that part, uh, the second part of the chorus is going to go a little something like instead of playing the four times for these two chords, right? The A major seven and the E. Instead of playing them four times, you're gonna play them three times because I needed to give myself just enough room to like get my fingers over here to do all that, you know, all that stuff and all the other stuff that goes with that. So that goes um, for that part. Uh, I'm gonna play uh, the fourth fret of the high E string, then the second fret, and then the open. And then I'm just gonna do that, you know, so. So that's four times, right? One, two, three, four, right. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that for the uh, A major seven chord, right? I'm gonna play the A major seven chord three times this time, right? So one, two, three. Right? Right, and then I'm gonna play the E chord uh, three times. Right, so now I'm gonna play for that part. I'm gonna play that same uh, lead line up here twice instead of four times. Right, so it's still gonna be four, two, open. Right, three blind mice. You know. Um, and then after the after I play that twice, then I'm going to uh, play the fifth fret of the B string, and then the fourth fret of that same string. And then the open uh, open B string, and then uh, with my first finger, my index, play the second fret of that uh, B string, and then play open again, and then play the first fret of the G string. All right. So now you have in total. Okay. 
Okay, so the whole thing from that E chord, we're just gonna back it up a little bit. Um, we're gonna start from the E chord on that, so. All right, cool. So, bum, 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 two, bum, 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 All right? One more time. Five, four, open, two, open, one on the G string. Okay, see that's in uh that's a G sharp right there. Okay, I'm not I'm not on the B string. Okay, cool. So um that whole section would go like this. Um the whole chorus would go one, two, three. Oh god, wait a minute. Uh hmm, that's not a good speed for that. Um one, two, three, four. up a little bit there but I, I, I really hope you got it from my previous explanation okay okay um, and then we're gonna move on to the last part which after that um, then you're just gonna hold uh, you're gonna go back to the E chord but this time you're just gonna play it eighth notes. So you're just gonna go, right? And you can like palm mute that, or you can just play it quieter and crescendo, you know, or either one is fine. Um, but yeah, that goes into the, I guess, post course. I don't even know what you call it. Um, but yes, that goes into the next section. Okay, so the next section. So we left off uh, with the whole. Now we're here, right? On this C sharp minor chord. Um, so. Um, my cat needs food. Okay. Um, so for that, uh, you're going to just bar the fourth fret, um, of the fifth string upward to the first string. You're not going to bar the low E string. You're not going to bar that. You're going to actually, uh, mute that if you, you know, if you uh, just push your, your index finger up against it like that, you know, you see, I'm, I'm pushing down the fourth fret of the A string. But I'm using it also to just 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 touch the uh, the the low E string, you know. So I'm getting that. Um, so you can do that. And uh, then you've got the uh, ring finger and the pinky on the fourth frets of the. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, the sixth fret. Um, yeah. So you've got the ring finger on the sixth fret of the D string, right? That's a that's a G sharp. And then you've got the uh, pinky on the sixth fret of the G string. All right, for that C sharp up there. And then you have your middle finger on the fifth fret of the B string, playing that E right there. Okay. All right. Get okay, it. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. And then you know you can uh, you can play just that, or you can you know complete the bar. And just press down to get the uh, the fourth fret of the uh, high E string. All right, you can play it like this, or you can play it like this. Either one is fine. Um, okay, so yeah, um, where were we? Yeah. Act like we own the place. Swinging back and forth. Right. So bum. And I forgot to mention that for the uh, for the E uh, chord before that, right? Right, and then you go to the C uh, sharp minor over here, and then the same pattern, right? You're gonna kind of keep doing that pattern a lot for this section. Um, and then you're gonna play. You can play an A major chord after this. Um, I don't remember which A major chord I played in my video. 
Um, so we're just going to go with this one right here since it's close by. Um, yeah, so, you know, swinging back and forth. So I'm just going to continue barring. Okay, so that same shape that we had over here for the C sharp minor chord, just now you're actually gonna bar the entire, like all six strings with your uh, index finger, first finger, right? And you're gonna bar the fifth fret, okay? So, and you're actually gonna bar everything. Um, and then uh, everything else would fall into place there in the same shape as it was up here. So you should have your index on the fifth fret of everything, and then your, uh, your um, ring finger, I'm forgetting what fingers are called, um, uh, ring finger on the seventh fret of the A string, pinky seventh fret of the D string, right? And then you have your middle finger on the sixth fret of the G string. All right, A major chord up there. You could do A major chords anywhere. I just picked simple chords because it was already hard enough to sing and play this so if you want to make things nicer you know maybe voicely whatever i don't know man like, i don't know okay anyway um so um and the same picking pattern right so you've got the swinging back and forth right um and then you're just gonna move this up to the fourth fret and you're just going to lift up your uh ring your middle finger and you're going to play that that shape again and then you're going to do the same thing right uh from there you're going to move to the second fret all right so you're going to move up here same exact thing your middle finger should still be up all right and then you play the uh c sharp minor chord again uh, up here. So you're going to go from here back to the fourth fret of the A string and mute the sixth string again, right? And your your middle finger is going to come back down. Okay. So uh so let's let's make sure that we got everything before I add more stuff, right? So So now that we're back here at that same chord, um, then we're going to just move down and play this chord again um, on the sixth fret, right? We're going to pick up our middle finger and uh, bar the entire frets, uh, the entire neck um, on the fourth fret of all the strings again. And, uh, you know, we'll be back in this shape, right? Still playing that same strumming pattern. And then you're going to move up to that A chord again. And you're going to bring your middle finger back down to the uh, sixth fret of the G string and still bar everything and play that bar chord. Okay, so that whole thing should be like this. Um, we're going to start from Act Like We Own The Place. And uh, yeah, so. Act like we own the place. So, and one more extra note. I mean, you don't have to do this, but this is what I did in my video. Um, for the second uh, C sharp minor chord when we're back here, right? When we're just like, all my thoughts are taken past the sir. Wait, wait a minute. Um, hang on, let me think, where was that? Swinging back and forth, all my thoughts are taken past the surface. Okay, cool. Is it worth it? Right, so when, when uh, on the is it worth it part, um, you know, is it worth it to fall back down at that part? Um, I kind of play this uh, a little differently, right? I kind of go. Like I do, I kind of like lift up. Or I do. 
right? But I'm still barring everything here. So I'm just lifting my my middle finger and then bringing it back down. So it sounds, instead of it just sounding like this, it sounds like this. Right, so it kind of has like a little bit of like a melodic, like, ooh, mm, you know, just a little, a little, you know, seasoning on that or something, you know? You know, some degree of like, I don't know, uh, yeah, seasoning. Let's let's stick stick with that flavor, you know. But you don't have to do that. Um, so yeah. Uh, Is it worth it to fall back down? You know, and you can change up how you strum each of these chords for effect, right? Like maybe you wanna maybe kind of make things a little a little you know, like you slow things down a bit, right? Like um, you don't have to just do. You don't have to do that. You can um, swinging back and forth. All my thoughts are making past the surface. Is it worth it to fall back down? Like you can, you can change stuff up, right? You know, you know, you, you, you know what I mean. Now we're at the please make way for this, uh, you know, please make way for the special, you know, all that stuff, right? So we're going to start on the open E uh, chord again, right? We're up here again. All right, so the chords that we're going to use, um, we're pretty much using all the chords that we've uh, we've already gone through. So we're using this chord up here, the open E string, right? So that'd be, I'm just going to say them straight down since we've already covered this. So uh, starting from the sixth string, right, the heavy E string, and working up to the e, a high E string, it's just going to be open, two, two, one, open, open, okay? Right, so please make way for this special invented. Right. Special invented on over. So after this E chord, we're going to go to C sharp minor. All right, we already played that. So again, I'm gonna just uh, say the fret uh, numbers and just go straight down. But this time, you know, I'm skipping the the sixth string is muted, and we're starting on the A string. Okay, so it's gonna be four, six, six, five, and uh, four. Right, so that's you're uh, you're gonna bar that. And, right, so please make way for this special in then we're gonna go to the A chord. Now I played the A chord up here in the video, but you can play it here since it's literally like look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. You know, um, you can you can still do this one, but you know you, you got options, okay? Just just saying. Um, so please, oh god, uh, please make way for this special invented armor, right? And we'll we'll go with this one. Um, you know, just because it's right there. Um, so yeah, again, I'm going to read everything down since we already covered the A major bar chord over here on the fifth fret. So it's just going to be five, seven, seven, uh, six, seven, oh God, five, five, okay? Five, seven, seven, six, five, five. Five, seven, seven, six, five, five. Five, seven, seven, six, nine, five. Oh God, I can't even say it right. Five, seven, seven, six, five, five. Oh, there we go. Cool. So yeah. Um, so then this chord, and then we're just going to go down, right, to this uh, G sharp minor chord. All right, we already covered that, so I'm just going to read it again. I'm just going to uh, say the fret numbers again, I mean, right? So then now we're here, and it's going to be uh, 4, 6, 6, 4, 4, 4, okay? Right, no middle finger needed for that one, but you do need a middle finger for that A chord. Just remember that, all right? Cool. And then we're going to move down to the F sharp minor chord on the second fret. So the same shape we had here just now, we're going to move that same thing down. Still no middle finger needed. Whoa, 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 look at that. Look at that. Don't even need it. Um, so yeah, so two, four, four, uh, two, 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 okay? Cool. So let's just, you know, recap before I add more stuff. One, two, three, four. Please make way for this special invented armor, mental protection, reality is raging harder. Hello, Mr. Mind. And now, well, 
um, for Hello Medicine, we're going to go back to this C sharp chord up here. That's right. So back on the uh, A uh, the A string, right? Hello Medicine, right? So back on the you know from the fifth string onward, right? Just back on four, six, six, five. Uh, four, right? Hello, medicine. Then you're going to play the uh, G sharp minor chord right under it. Okay, so, you know. Okay, so four, six, six, four, 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 right? I believe denial makes me. And then you're going to move it up to that A bar chord again and bring that middle finger back down on the sixth fret as you move into that shape. Okay, so we're here. Look at that. It's open, right? I believe denial makes me. Uh, right, so here we're back with that A major bar chord. Okay, so five, seven, seven, uh, six, five, five. Brooklyn, wait. I have to feed my cat eventually. Okay. Um, let's see, where am I? Yeah, so um gonna put all that stuff together. Hey, there's a cat here. Alright, I'm gonna put all all that stuff together. And uh before we move on to the uh before we move on to that, okay? So one more time. Um, where am I? Uh, right, please make way. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four. Please make way for a special event in armor. Mental protection in reality in raging order. Hello, Mr. Right, and the pattern I'm playing on in the right hand for that is just all eighth notes, really. Just right. Right. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, um, we're going to move on to the next section now. Okay, so uh, only got two more sections to really go over at this point. So, you know, we're almost done. It's a long ass video, but, you know, we, 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 we're making our way through. All right. So um, now uh, we are here uh, with this whole. We're way too caught up in the race with time. Stuff. So, I will demonstrate two ways to play this. Right. Uh, the first way is uh, using the chords that we've already gone through, since we already have those shapes. And then the second way would be the way that I did it, because I, I play it differently. You don't have to do this, because there are so many different ways to play this stuff. Um, so, first one is just using the chords that we've already gone through, right? And those positions. So, the C sharp minor chord, right? Starting on the fourth fret of the A string, right? And just going down here, right? So that's the first chord of that. And then you're gonna go to the A, uh, the A ma uh, major bar chord. And then you're gonna go open E major, right? I'm playing it this way because it's just more convenient instead of doing this. Because my hands were already, you know, and if I just slide it up, I can just, you know, this, I just got to lift up one finger, so. So, yeah, so that's the first part of that section. Right, so that's. And then. Right, so one, two, three, four. One, two, one. Okay. Oh, and then. Right, one, two, three, four. Okay. Right? 
Oh, I'm forgetting that. Okay, so I lied about the E uh, major chord strumming. So we got one, two, three, four. One, two, one, one. Right? Uh, let me see. That was wrong, but ignore ignore that, okay? again part we're gonna go back to the second thing that we uh, the second section all right you remember that uh, with this whole A major 7 chord and only moving these two right to hit the 7 on the D string and then 9 on the A string and then 6 on the D string and then 9 on the D string okay so You're back to the very beginning. Sick of me and my head, thinking about my fate and worrying about my health. I wanna waste away my days with a pretty young thing, blow through all my wind. Now, I was wrong because I did this section. <laughs> I did this section differently. Um, the regular song, you know, as Tillian is going, I'm over, I'm over, like all that stuff, right? As he's doing that, um, you know, the guitar is just doing the same thing. It's doing all that stuff. But I believe I did something else. Let me collect my thoughts and tell you what I did. Okay, yeah, so I just watched uh, that section. Um, so, like I said, Tillian, as he's going, I'm over, you know, uh, guitar's doing regular, all that stuff. Um, if you want to change it up and do what I did, again, you don't have to, but uh, I just, uh, I play this, this uh, E major chord, right, um, with an add two, add nine, right? Yeah, I, I guess it's an E major add nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that's going to be uh, just from the uh, playing all six strings on that um, and just telling you what the frets are. Uh, it's uh, from the low E string all the way to the high E string. It's going to be open, two, four, uh, one, and then open, open. Okay, it's kind of a, it's a bit of a stretch up here. Okay, so... It's a nice sounding chord. And then the next chord I play is a C sharp minor nine, okay? And that is, uh, that's only gonna be four uh, strings, okay? It's the middle four. So it's the, you have the high and the low E. I mean, you could play the high E, but not definitely not the low E, okay? Don't, don't do that. Um, so you have uh, from the uh, A string onward, it's gonna be four, uh, two, right? Uh, four on the G string and then four on the B string, right? And then if you want to add, you know, add that uh, open E, you can. Okay. So my version is to the chorus part, right? 
So that's that A major seven from before, which is from the A string onward. Uh, open, two, one, two, open, right? And the second time around I do it, I just, instead of doing the whole, I just let them ring, because I'm like, it's the final chorus, ooh, you know? So. Just for the table, pretend. And then that's the E major chord from before, right? And then everything else is the same, right? All that stuff. All that stuff is the same. And then we get to the very end, right? Crawl my way to the uh, end of the centipede, whatever he says, right? So uh, you're playing that same thing from before. Crawl my way. Right. And I decided to add that instead of what they actually do. Um, so instead of uh, just jumping straight into that whole. Right. I, I played this. As like a precursor to that for for some kind of build up effect, right? I, I don't know if it translates, but that's what I, that's what I intended. So um, you can do that, but uh, the final section is uh, something like this. Uh, you're gonna play that A major bar chord on the fifth fret, right? Then you're gonna go to the second fret, right? And don't forget to lift up that middle finger, right? You're playing that F sharp minor bar go to the fourth fret all right with that same shape keeping that middle finger up then you're gonna go this is a new one right you're gonna go to the seventh fret and play this B uh, B major chord right it's the same shape as the A chord up here all right but you're up here now all right so that is my timer okay uh, yeah so that um, what was that? Yeah, so B string. Jesus, this video is long as hell, boy. Um, yeah, so seventh fret, right? Just reading that going all the way up. Uh, seven, nine, nine, uh, eight, uh, seven, seven, okay? Right? So that whole thing is so cool. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two. Right? So that's that. Um, and then at the very end, right, it ends on A uh, major chord, but I decided to, uh, you know, spice it up and uh, play this A major seven this way. Right, so that's just the uh, um, from the open A string down, open A, um, then the seventh fret, right? Then the sixth fret, then the fifth fret, then the fourth fret. Okay, so right, dear God, this is a long video. I really hope that I I uh, made made every minute count. I didn't think it would take this long. Uh, all right, we're done. That's it. Jesus. All right. So you can stop watching now, but I am going to go over everything uh, just to make sure that everything makes sense. And I wanted to add some technical stuff, but this video is already long as hell. So I'm going to keep the technical stuff to a minimum unless unless you need that. So, um, right. So we got this first section. Second section. Oh God. Third 
third section. All right, then the rest, the second half of the chorus, right? And then the ending of that chorus. Then the next section. Swing back and forth. All our thoughts are taking past the how I played this part in <laughs> I'm not gonna because it's this video is already too long Jesus all right so anyway okay cool and then we're back here right and then we're back here Right, and then I'm over. you can continue. Right? I'm over, over, over you can do that, or you can do my version. I'm Either one, and then we're back to the chorus, right? And then at the end, um, you can either just uh, do the version I did with the build up, or you can just jump right into it, right? Um, so, uh, blah blah blah. So, right? And then, um, then I end here. But you don't. Oh, I forgot to mention. You don't have to end on this A major seven chord in this in this shape or this position. You can just play this this bar chord that we've always been playing. You can just do that, right? So crawl, uh, crawl my way to the top of the centipede. Right, and just end it like that. Um, okay, I'm done. Jesus Christ, 49 minutes. I, um, good luck. I don't know. <laughs>